Are you tired of pie charts complicating your data story in Power BI? Well, it's time to simplify things using native bar charts. I'll show you an elegant way of replacing your pie charts with an enhanced bar chart using some cool Power BI tips and tricks. Let's dive in. Let's now explore the process of creating this chart. Our aim is to create this elegant bar chart to showcase the percentage of revenue contribution by segments. Let's start with a native bar chart where I have already added the segment on the y-axis and the revenue percentage of segment measure on the x-axis. The revenue percentage of segment measure is a simple DAX measure that calculates the percentage of revenue by segment. First, let me move the category values above the blue bars which will make the chart look sleek and compact. To do this, I have created a measure called base 0 with a value of 0 assigned to it. Simply drag and drop this measure above the revenue percentage of measure on the x-axis. It's a bit messy with those zeros, isn't it? But no worries. Now I need to replace these zeros with the respective category names. In this case, the segments. To achieve that, I am going to use the dynamic format string feature in Power BI. Click on the measure. Under measure tools tab on the ribbon, select dynamic as the format option. You can see the format option appears to the left of the formula bar which can be switched to show the format string or the actual measure formula. Now you can replace the format string with a DAX formula to dynamically pick the segment name based on the current filter context. We will use selected value in this case to get the current segment name. Now you can see the segment name appears as we wanted. Let's do some cleanup now by removing the legend the y-axis, the axis title, x-axis and the axis title. The segment names are a bit too close to the bus but we will fix them. Next we will add another measure to the x-axis to extend each bar to 100% giving that perfect part to whole look. For this I have created another measure called whole which has a value of 1 formatted as percentage drag and drop it onto the x-axis below revenue percentage of segment. The chart might look messy but we are working on it. Next up, now let's change the color of the blue bars to white and remove the label. We are going to show it using a different technique. This will create some space between the segment name and the bar, looking better already. Now time to introduce error bars to display the revenue percentage of segment. Choose the whole measure, under error bus, enable it and drag and drop the revenue percentage of segment measure on the lower bound of the error bar. Leave the relationship to the measure as absolute. Now it's a matter of formatting. Open the bars section, set the bar color to 10% darker, set the width to 10, mark a shape to none and the border size to 0. Great, it's really coming together. Now let's change the label showing 100% to display the actual revenue percentage of the segment. We've created another measure for this purpose named segment label and formatted as text using the format function. Head to data label, choose the whole measure, turn on custom label and assign our dynamic measure. Make it bold for that extra emphasis. Now you can see the revenue contribution percentage for each segment and it's much clearer than the old pie chart. To give it a clean look, add some spacing between the bars. Under bars, adjust the inner spacing to around 38 and leave the min category width at default 20. One final touch. Set the padding of the visual to left 15, bottom 15, top 5 and right 15. And there you have it, a sleek and informative bar chart that beautifully represents the percentage of revenue contribution by segment. 
Interested in learning more about inventive and effective ways to present data? Make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell for impressive content. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Power BI tips and tricks.